This podcast deals with disturbing subject matter. Listener discretion and headphones are advised. It's time to open the door to your mind. Sit back and listen to true horror. But be careful of what you allow in. Because it's time to go through the fog. I'm Dark Hero, and this story is called Shortcut. When I was around eight years old, I used to be able to walk to and from school. It wasn't anything crazy. A lot of kids did it, and that's just how things were back then. Down the street from where I lived, there was some woods that you could cut through and come out near the entrance of the school. Not a lot of other kids went through that shortcut because of the critters and whatnot, but I played around there a lot, so I knew the area like the back of my hand. One day, I had overslept just a little bit, so... I quickly got ready and rushed out of my home. Even with the trusty path through the woods, I'd be cutting it close, getting to school on time. I was running through my neighborhood when I saw a black car parked on the side of the street. It was a nice car, something you'd see every day. And yet it felt so out of place there at the moment. I, I sprinted past the driver's side, and when I was a couple feet away from the car, I heard a gruff voice call out from behind me. My feet screeched to a halt. Where are you running off to, kid? I turned around to see an older man in the driver's seat of the car with his window rolled down. He wore dark sunglasses and a black cowboy hat sat atop his head. His skin was leathery and his face had fresh red cuts on them. He had a cigarette in his mouth and he smiled, showing off dark, yellowed teeth. I was taught to respect adults and to answer any questions, so I responded, To school, sir. He let out a chuckle, which turned into a violent cough. You're a good boy. So polite. The way he said it gave me goosebumps. Why don't you let me give you a ride, sweet boy? Another thing I was taught was not to go into a stranger's car. So I refused. Come on. I'll give you a nice ride over to school. Or maybe we can go have some fun elsewhere. (laughs) I refused again, and his face twisted to anger. Be a good boy boy and get in this car he growled i didn't know what to do so i apologized and dashed towards the woods i brushed it off as a weird old man as i continued on my way to school a few minutes later i heard the roar of an engine in the distance followed by screeching of tires i turned my head to see the black car speeding towards me the ground beneath me transitioned from pavement to grass as i finally reached the woods and i weaved through the trees I was so afraid to stop. I wasn't sure if the man was following me, but I was too terrified to turn around. And I heard a deep (laughs) cackle from behind me, confirming the fear I had. Suddenly, like a fucking idiot, I fell. I tripped over a branch, and my body came crashing to the ground. I felt disoriented as I lay on the floor. And I heard the man's footsteps running towards me. I shuffled towards a bush, keeping it as low and quiet as possible, and tears started to blur my vision as I inched closer to my hiding spot. Where are you, sweet boy? The man shouted, his call echoing through the woods. I held my breath, using my hands to cover my face so I couldn't utter a peep. The air around me started to smell like cigarettes as he neared me. His breathing was labored and heavy as he looked around. He sounded like an animal as he tried to find me. He let out a frustrated shout and I heard his footsteps recede. I just sat there for a moment, ever so quiet. I was too afraid to let out a breath. And then I passed out. I was awoken by a police officer. Hey son, can you hear me? He called out while shaking me. I could see a few more officers run up to us. I was finally safe. I told the police what had happened to me, and they immediately set out to look for the car. 
I went to the doctor to get patched up, and luckily there was just a few scratches, bruises, and a broken ankle. Unfortunately, they never found the car, nor the man. Through the Fog is recorded and edited by Hop. Intro and outro by Katie Kemp. For more stories, go to www.throughthefog.org. We'll be back in two weeks, so keep your eyes on the fog.